this week's topic is all about do you shoot from the hip or are you a high learner? And the difference between the two, um, they're, they're opposite. So being a high learner, if you're finding your tendency to constantly wanting to learn new information with little application, then you might be finding yourself in a position where you're constantly uh, learning. However, you're not applying the new information. That would be classified as a high learner. Where shooting from the hip is reacting. Um, so high action, however, not taking into careful consideration through thought or of your actions. So neither one is good or bad. Uh, I know I've had a tendency to be in the situation where I've been a high learner, particularly while you might be studying. So for those in high school uh, or doing a degree, you're, you're surrounded by learnings and, and you're not doing as much practical application because you're not in the workforce yet, or maybe you're working part-time. So that could be conducive to being um, in a high learner. Moving over to, to this week on the podcast, we have two live chat shows, both with um, highly experienced practitioners. So our first one, Connor Daly, he's worked in rugby at the highest level and he's now currently the strength and power coach at the Essendon Football Club. So I'll be catching up with him on Tuesday at 1 p.m. So if you've got any questions for Connor, uh, or for Academy members that you, and you want to join me live and ask Connor questions directly, feel free to tune in and and when you're next on into the Academy, uh, send me in your questions. Or if you want to join us, just let me know. <clears throat> and on Wednesday, our uh, podcast episode with Scott Dickinson that I, I host that live event just recently. He's the head of Australia's Swimming um, up in the Gold Coast, manages the hub there. And we talked about his whole career journey, but also the difference for strength and conditioning coaches, the difference between working in pro sport compared to uh, working in, a, in the Olympics. So he broke down uh, his year-by-year -year approach for an Olympic cycle. Uh, this current one is a little bit different because it's only a three-year cycle. So we discussed that. But we also discussed the different environments, uh, the, the strengths, uh, the pros and the cons, if you like, for each one, the fact that pro sport, you're competing in season on a weekly basis. So how much urgency that builds, but also how people can, you know, the environment can easily react to things that you might not need to react to just simply by uh, the win or loss impacting your decision-making. Uh, but in the Olympic cycle, how, because you're not competing uh, on a weekly basis, it can at times lack some urgency. So we talked about two different ones, how it looks from a development point of view and more importantly, from a practitioner point of view. So if that's of interest of you, perhaps you've only worked in pro sports and you have an interest at someday working in Olympic sports, make sure to tune into that podcast. I will release it on all our podcast platforms on Wednesday this week. Thursday, um, we've just changed. Uh, for those that don't know, I've had uh, my baby girl was born two weeks ago. So second child and it's changed our routine of uh, nighttime for my first child. He's three and a half years old. So I'm no longer going to be doing interviews for the time being anyway for the next few months at eight o'clock at night, uh, just simply for that fact. So um, I've just, when we booked Phil in, that was pre-birth. So that was a couple months ago now. And I've just contacted Phil to change the time. So he's going to get back to me and look at his schedule and I'll keep you updated on when we'll interview Phil. But his, pod, his uh, key topic will be the difference between performance port and defense and the defense world um so he works into works in the uh, military and he's a strength and conditioning coach so he helps prepare the military so really looking forward to that chat we haven't had anyone that works in physical preparation working in the military before on the show so looking forward to having phil on and then on sunday katie mcdonald he's a highly successful uh, entrepreneur in the online space he's got his own podcast his name is no or his brand is known as kados <clears throat> And he discussed the 10,000 hour rule and how it applies to developing your own brand. So if you haven't heard that one, uh, when we posted on our recent live collaborative event, that was with Shepmates, Prime Train, Kados, 9 to 5 Fitness. Make sure to tune in. Uh, our bite-sized episode just with Kados will be released this Sunday.